<laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Vazen Norse Double IPA. The brewery in our area, known for having deep roots in mythology from Scandinavian heritage. Very badass. Vazen started out as like a sour only, <clears throat> a sour only, uh, excuse me, this on the end throat. Uh, brewery, uh, from what I remember, when they first opened, they were like doing only sours. And then over time, they sort of like started kind of doing everything, I think because they realized that not everybody yeah. likes sour beers, I guess. Because mm, I, I remember when we first visited them, it was mostly sours and then a few Belgian beers. Yeah. And pretty much it's that's... like big, yeah. huge, heavy beers. And I was yeah. like, ah, I'm not into it. And then... They started off like that, but I don't know when they transitioned, and now they're just full-blown like everything. Just doing everything. Let's read this can. Vazen Brewing Company has a uh, picture of the reindeer, the classic reindeer on it. Uh, Norse double IPA. Farmhouse India Pale Ale has Citra Mosaic Amarillo, Norwegian Quebec Yeast, and mm. two row uh, German wheat and flaked oat. Uh, 8%, one pint, 25 IBU. Date of the can is 110.22, so real fresh. Um, yeah, so Quebec Yeast, that's a Norwegian Quebec Yeast, actually is what it's, how you pronounce it. Mm -hmm. uh, that yeast ferments very warm, so. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. It's always interesting putting that in beer, especially IPAs, because like it gives it a whole kind of different level of weirdness that you would normally get. Okay. Yeah. So anyways. I was gonna say it's a little on the darker side. Yeah, it definitely is dark. Got really nice, uh, clean looking head on it too. Very, yeah. Really white. Dense head. Yeah, it's looks delicious. like an IPA, you know? Like every other IPA that exists, pretty much. Let's get into the aroma and see what we're looking for. I get almost like Ooh, mandarin yeah. or tangerine. Tangerine is what I'm getting, yeah. yeah. Like uh, this little, like if you get um, canned tangerines, yeah. that sweet tangerine, yeah, that's what you're getting. Well, that's interesting. It's That smells great. Yeah. What it's, are we it's looking really for faint. in the Kavaik yeast? Uh, well, it typically gives you like a lemony, straw, grassy sort of characteristic. Uh, it's very farmhousey, so it's, to me, it's like a little bit sour almost, like kind of slightly sour. Um, but yeah, okay, that's- Okay, yep, I'm getting that, but I'm getting that lemon. But that I think is playing into that tangerine and like mm -hmm. really bringing that out to the forefront. It's barely there, but I mean, it's it's there. Once you've had a bunch of beers with Kvike yeast, you kind of know what that is. Yeah. We've had several like Kvike yeast uh, yeah. IPAs. Yeah, Rocket Frog had a Kvike IPA, the Kvikel Jordan, which is the greatest yeah. name ever made. Um, <laughs> uh, there's a couple other ones that we've had, but they all display the same characteristics, where it's like very, like kind of lemony and, and almost like a, like, like flowery, grassy sort of like hay type characteristic. Yes. It's, it's very unique. Um, but like I said, this ferments like hot on the hot side. So, and typically you you know, it's a, that's not what you do. All right, well, shall we dive in and see if it tastes the way it smells? Cheers. Cheers. That's yeah. so orangey. Mm -hmm. I love orange. That's, I've said it before, it's my like, favorite fruit. That's so on the orange side. A little bit of lemon in there. Yeah. Um, it's a nice maybe blend. like a lemon grass because of that. Maybe it's the Kvike yeast that's bringing that forward. But yeah. man, oh man, that's so like orange, tangerine y. That's what's refreshing about this is that. That's so good. Normally when we get into like the fruity compositions here, like we, we, we tend to go for a lot of like, we tend to take, you know, taste the mangoes and the pineapples and it's all, very all standardized. the sweet for tropical fruit. Yeah. But it's nice to have just orange. Like this is yeah. just orange and a little bit of lemon. It's all I'm really getting. It's a nice citrus forward kind of double IPA. Nice bright citrus. Damn straight, Bosin. That's the way to do it right there. That's a unique, an awesome offering. I really un enjoy their their graphics too. Um, it's they're it's, so awesome. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's, 
It's, it's very Scandinavian. It's classy. Well, it's classy. It's very classy. It's so classy. It's like, it's really complex and you have to stare at it for a while to really mm -hmm. get, take it all in. Um, but once you do, you're like, wow, somebody spent time like figuring out all these little details and the horn, the antlers of this reindeer, mm -hmm. like on the, the, even just the nose, there's little hairs on the nose and stuff. Like there's so much detail in this circular like pattern. Symbols are, will look like hieroglyphics. On yeah, the it's like order. these, these like ancient Norwegian symbols and stuff. It's very cool. Like their merch is tight too. Yeah. We're both wearing Vazen merch. Vazen. Yeah, very cool. And there's like little beer bottles online. I just noticed yeah. that the other day. <laughs> and, and all the hiking stuff, the camping. Yeah. And they're huge on like outdoor activities and hiking. And I'm with them on that. Mm -hmm. we're, we're definitely Rowing with you guys on that. Yeah. If I were to rank Bazin now, I mean, before I, I wouldn't have even considered them because they were so sour heavy. But like now, since they do everything and the, I don't know, their brand has sort of evolved over the years. Um, now I'd rank them top five for sure yeah. in Virginia. Personally, when I think of Dippas and my favorite breweries to, to drink Dippas from, this is one of those breweries. Yeah, for definitely. Sure. Definitely they Guaranteed do. Guaranteed it's going to be delicious. Really cool stuff. I mean, the Norse is no exception. I've actually never had the Norse. I think you have. Yeah, um, it's, I think one of their kind of like, I'm not going to say it's a core beer, but it's one of the beers that they always make. They've yeah. had for a while. Yeah, I think they should continue making this. It's a really unique take on a double IPA. I don't think anybody else really does a double IPA like this one. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, in no small parts of the Kvikis, probably. I mean, I'm really getting that sort of farmhouse-esque, um, ever so slightly soury, sort of grassy feel to this beer. Um, and just that crazy tangerine face plant of, you know, <laughs> Right in there, right in the mouth yeah. hole of tangerine. Bam! I'm really like not enjoying super hyper sweet IPAs anymore. I think my tastes have changed where like, I love hazy IPAs still, but ones that have a decent bitter backbone to yeah, them. Sure. Like I can't do, I can't do this hyper sweet hazies any longer. It's just, it's too much. You yeah. can't, because I can't keep drinking. I can drink like maybe yeah. half a beer and then I'm like, yeah, I, but I need like some water or something. Yeah. Can I get some soda, please? Just doesn't work. And I have yeah. to eat like a bag, a whole bag of like crazy tasting chips, like dill pickle chips or something to get that taste out of my mouth, to get that yeah. cloyingness out of my mouth. Yeah, it's like, it like covers your tongue. Coats and everything, everything. Yeah. All right guys, well that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, click the like button and hit the subscribe for new videos when they release. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.